Hey guys, I wanted to share my opinion on the Hogue X1 micro flip. This knife comes in at $135.96. It is, well, was on Blade HQ, that's where I purchased it from, but it's not available anymore and I doubt it's ever going to come back. This was probably the least purchased color variant because it's such a bright vibrant color it just so happens that this is my favorite color uh so i felt like it was meant for me regardless uh it is a just super simple drop point blade comes in cpm 154 blade material which is pretty good stuff it's nothing too crazy high end it's not cheap either i think it's very well rounded blade the handles are, I believe, aluminum. And I think this backspacer is steel. I could be wrong. But uh, just within the first couple weeks of owning this knife, and I've had this thing for maybe like a year and a half, almost two years, it has a lot of scuffs, a lot of scuffs. And this is a complete U.S. manufacturing company, Hogue. Some people might be familiar with that name for firearms and grips and holsters. And, you know, a lot of collaborations with a lot of other uh, firearm brands, which is pretty freaking cool. I don't own any firearms, unfortunately, yet. Um, but... Eventually, I'll probably end up taking a look at some of the stuff that Hogue makes. I do enjoy this knife, but I think for what it is, it was a little pricey. Then again, it's a US made knife, so things are always going to be a little bit more expensive. It is a very, very light hollow ground blade that I believe it's stone washed can't really tell yeah 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 i'm gonna go ahead and say that's it. done washed um one thing that kept me from carrying this knife as long as i wanted to was one day at work this pocket clip while in my pocket got snagged on uh i forgot what it was it was like i was moving between the the front seat to the back of an ambulance and because uh, I was driving at the time and I got snagged on like the corner seam of the the chair and it just broke the clip off and I just heard this little metal ting go flying and hit the window and I'm looking around I'm like what the hell was that and then I go and I reach down on my side and my <laughs> knife has fallen inside of my pocket. Oh my god, crap. Now I gotta go and, you know, buy a new buy a new clip. So after contacting Hogue's warranty, and this is another thing too, Hogue has some of the strictest warranty on their knives. And they're not even super expensive knives. Like, they don't make super crazy high-end knives. But they have an extremely strict warranty on them. You're not allowed to take them apart. You're not allowed to do any kind of, like removing of the pivot or maintenance like the most you can do is probably just use like some canned air in wd-40 and that's all you can do really um but i avoided the warranty completely recently i took it apart and cleaned it and it turns out yeah they're not that difficult to take apart and to clean this is not a spring assisted knife it just has a really really uh i guess intense detent due to the uh the actual opening mechanism so it's just a flipper tab but it has this spring inside of this button this would be considered a plunge lock so it plunges down into the other side of the knife and it disengages so once it moves out of the way the knife is free to move
Another cool little thing that it has is that it has a little lock. Not super, super necessary because when you have a full grip, your hand isn't really, I mean, I don't know how fat your hand has to be to actually disengage this button up here. But hey, it's there. Safety, it's important. I get it. You know, knife, it's sharp. That's <laughs> what it's supposed to be. But there are a lot of other knives out there that don't have safety mechanisms that probably should. But regardless. Um, yeah, so back to the pocket clip. After breaking it, I contacted Hogue and they were not able to give me a new one for free or even a discounted one or anything like that, which was kind of shitty. So I went on eBay and found this exact same pocket clip and $25 later, I was able to get a brand new clip. And so it came with a new clip, four screws and another, uh, you know, plug for the other side because you're able to move the clip from one side to the other for left-handed people. I am a right-handed individual, at least with my knives. Um, so you don't just pay that much money for the pocket clip. It did come with a couple other things, but the pocket clip was really all I needed because I still had the screws and there was no purchasing option on Hogue's website for just the clip. Kind of ridiculous, but hey, whatever. It's not a huge deal. 25 bucks later, got a new clip, we slapped it on there. Everything went together well again, and uh, that's really it. Um, another thing to note is this knife isn't really gonna live too long, especially if I you know, actually use it a good bit, as much as I used to, because after sharpening it a couple times, it's already starting to move back. And uh, the more and more you sharpen a knife, the more material you remove and the thicker behind the edge that it becomes. And yeah, you know, it, it is a hollow grind knife, but even still, I can see within another, you know, 10 sharpenings. That's a couple years worth of owning a knife. Um, yeah, I don't think this thing's going to be cutting too well after that. But regardless, for the time being, it's still a pretty sweet knife. Uh, opens up pretty freaking harsh. It's very loud. You can't really like soft open it. So this isn't one that I take to work because I don't want to be scaring people with whipping this thing out. Plus it sounds like a spring assisted or an automatic knife and some people see the button they're like, oh my gosh, illegal button. Freaking 2319 is ass. You know, so I actually took this knife to, uh, to work one time and my supervisor was like, oh, cool. You got an automatic knife. Aren't those illegal? I'm like, no, nope, no, no, no automatic knife. It's, it's, uh, it's just has a meaty spring within the, uh, the actual plunge lock. So yeah, I got a break through that to actually open up the knife and it just it just sounds very aggressive but it's a cool sound that's another thing too that you know some people like about knives is not only the fit and finish and the colors and you know just all the all the crazy stuff about it but this is probably my most tactical knife out of all the ones that I have besides the color of course there's nothing tactical about that it's still a pretty sweet knife for what it is. Um, wish it was a little bit cheaper, then I'd probably recommend it. Wish the this cutout here was a little bit further back, which I could take care of myself eventually if I'm not too lazy. But the thing is, when you purchase a knife, especially if it's like over $100, I really don't think you should be having to do too many modifications within the first couple years of owning it. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. But hey, whatever. It's not a huge deal. Um, also, Hogue will not repaint or dip or whatever 
their scales. Not even for a fee. So, at least that's what I was told when I called a while back. So it's just gonna forever continue getting chewed up more and more I use it.